Well, this today they set it forward by a couple of eons. Edwards again. A little bit of wiggle between the tackles. Got his offensive lineman last year. They got some beef up front. Yeah. They, they can move some people. First down and 10. Edwards again. They're going to try and run it. Stopped up at the line of scrimmage. Bouncing back this week. Second and 10 coming up. Pass incomplete. Picked oh. off. Coming back. In a half empty stadium now. I'm guessing we had close to capacity the way it started off. Edwards again. First down and 10. Beck hands it off again. Yeah, when you talk about what's important now and you ask Kirby Smart that, he says the game, right? He wants his team's mindset to be strong and keep them hungry. That's the thing. It's a long season. He's once again not going to be satisfied trying to shape that win mindset for his team. He's been talking about connection being important this year. And in the exit interviews last season, that was a point of emphasis for him and his staff. To him. Cafe Racer is a vintage kind of race motorcycle back in the day. So their logo on the building. Well, I just feel like we're seeing more and more teams doing that. Edson Edwards gets a touch. You wonder, Kirk, I mean, is this... If Matt Arkansas would respond, I think they'll put this game behind him pretty quickly. I want to see more how Arkansas responds. With Edwards slam down. It's a shame you talked about the bright light. Goes to Georgia next week. That game will be right here on CBS. But what Kirby Smart said about having his two quarterbacks, he said that they're both leaders on this team, and it's easier when the situation of them is going to get them the ball, which is obviously a luxury to have. With the way things are going, Stetson Bennett could be. So if you can get him 100% healthy, you get to see Stetson Bennett play again next week against Kentucky, and then you can find out where. Seeing the zone read. Savon Clark just his third carry of the season picks up a couple, and the dog's name here. <laughs> You know him like Georgia, of course. <laughs> Edwards again. They don't. The safety hits. My ribs still hurt from a hit that Eric Berry gave me about 12 years ago. Look at Edwards out of the backfield. With the blocking on the perimeter from this Georgia team, I mean, these receivers, in this particular case, you have a tight end against a manual who just delivered the hit, ironically enough. So that's a little unfair. <laughs> wow. Oh. Shots fired. I believe Nick Saban Ouch. was on that staff. Edwards, good solid run again. All right, what what do you got, Kate? Win the Pac-12. But Michigan State was a reclamation project. Michigan State was redoing the roster. Edwards, another good strong run. With four really good for a lot of years here at Georgia. Heavy dose of Edwards again here. It's under six minutes to play. And Georgia defense. They want when they want. 38 runs, 29 passes, and Dewan Edwards. Edwards again, back to the line of scrimmage. With a little toss. Yep. Oh, nice hit by Jeremy Banks again, who made the first contact. And it's fourth down. Dejon Edwards in a tailback. And he'll wind up catching the ball from Daniels out of the backfield. Complete like one. On first and goal. Right between the tackles, untouched. Touchdown, Georgia. Edwards on the score. Yeah, offensive line locking people up. Guys a little bit out of position on the defensive side. But the defense, the offensive linemen, really, look at those red jerseys lock up on white. Tight end coming through. John Fitzpatrick, one of the backup tight ends. They have a full complement of receivers. By the time we get into either Atlanta or the college football playoff, both which seen Beck does have one touchdown pass on the season. Run up the middle, breaking tackles at the 10, the 5, diving 
toward the goal line and just shy. You can just pick names, whether it's Garrison Hurst or going all over history. They run hard and consistent, and it just seems to be. Look at this, just going to power inside. You know, just, just the physicality and the offensive line knows, hey, if we make a little crease, the guy's going to run. Second and goal. Beck, handoff. Nothing doing. That who's the shutout? <laughs> That's not going to make many people happy on that regard. Georgia, I would expect a whole lot of fields now takes over at quarterback, getting a chance to play here for Georgia. He will hand one off Dejon Edwards, who goes up the middle for about five. Attention, I always say, man, it takes 10 seconds out of your day. And the impact that that's going to have on that young kid is going to be tremendous. Dejon Edwards gets into the act. Went down, so he had to be helped off to the sideline. Here's Edwards on a toss. This time he's got nowhere to go. Might have lost a yard. And he's such a talented player. I think Stetson Bennett is the quarterback for this team that gives them the best chance to win. Flag down on the run by Edwards. Dejon Edwards again breaks a tackle in the backfield and dives inside the five. Injury to begin the season and a re-aggravation of that injury led to Bennett capitalizing. And another touchdown on the cutback by Edwards as the dogs add to their lead. Where they get that outside tight end, he's going to come down and block. The inside guy wraps around. You can pull your offensive lineman. Really good vision by Edwards as well, kind of seeing that back line cut. Inflicted on Georgia by Alabama. Not just that game. And busting loose. It's a big run for rushing for the players. Yeah. I would I would vote no. And I, I would almost give Georgia a sight. With one eye open on the pillow. I appreciate that. <laughs> All right. Well, there's Edwards. And he's gonna be well, he's gonna fight hard. He said tackle for a loss, but no, he makes studying so much film with each other this year. Bill O'Brien calls a place, of course, for the Crimson Tide. Basically just ignored the running.